What's up guys, this is Adam from 3dmodelsworld.com Welcome to another Maya tutorial and today we're gonna create this cool uh, wireframe rendering on our model so if you wanna gonna show it as a portfolio or I'm gonna show you even guys how to, to stylize these uh, wireframes if you're looking for like a specific uh, you know like stylized animation or renders to do so without further delay let's get started Okay, so this is the scene I have. I'm gonna be demonstrating in this uh, 3D model that uh, recently we added our library. Looks pretty cool. It's a good one to test and see how we can render this wireframe. We can see here the wireframe and shaded. So basically this is what we need to simulate but in the render view using Arnold. Okay, so let's remove the wireframe from here. The next thing, let's go to the hyper shade. And then in order to create the wireframe, we need to go to the Arnold section here and then let's scroll down until we find that uh, AI wireframe. So you can see here AI wireframe, let's click on it. So this shader basically we're gonna apply it to our Geo and we're gonna render the wireframe. First let's render and see what we have. Okay, so this is the current render we have, let's save it and then let's uh, close this window. And then let's select all the body elements. So let's select this shader, select object with material. And then let's assign the AI wireframe. And then let's select also the glass. And then let's assign the wireframe. Okay, so now we have both selected. And this is the shader now. This is the settings we need to adjust. So you get here the wireframe attribute. And then you get here uh, the edge type is already set to triangles. But as you can see in our poly here when we selected, we have everything plots. We don't have any triangle. So let's change that from triangles to polygons. You can see here already updated to polygons. And then you have the fill color here and the light color. We can talk about these later. So let's now render and see what we got. So this is what we have before and then let's render. So you can see already we got the wireframe. Uh, rendering uh, correctly matching our uh, geo so that's pretty good so now you can customize this and that's where it comes here the fill color and light color you can really customize the look you're looking for here so let's change for example you could have it black the fill color and then white the line color so you get like this result and of course if you feel this uh, wires are really thick you can adjust them by the line width so you can go like 0 0.5 and then let's render you can see it's become less thick and you can keep adjusting these settings the way you like now let's say you want to have that uh, texture still on the model and then you want to have the wireframes added into it so what you do is basically in this fill color we go to the textures and we select the diffuse and we add it to the fill color okay so now you can see here let's cut the textures already and then we can change the color of the line to black this will render better and then let's render okay so you can see now we added the wireframe so this is before and then after so we have the wireframe on the windows and on the body itself it's like everywhere and if you want to of course enhance the line width so this way you can see it better uh, that's cool too so this is what you can do with this uh, fill color now it's the same thing you can apply to the line color if you want to like change this line color uh, for example you can apply node here so let's apply ramp for example and then in this ramp let's change the colors to different coloration And then let's change this one, let's make it blue. So we get this ramp. And then now if we render, you get the wireframe are colored. So that's pretty interesting. If you wanna have like a stylized look, if you're not necessarily rendering the model as a portfolio, but you wanna create like a stylized look, you can always do that. So this is gonna give you like a lot of flexibility and uh, way better than the previous versions of Maya and it's gonna be pretty cool of what kind of stylize what kind of look you can create with this uh, shader so now when you see here you can see always a preview of it how it looks like and then uh, it's really fast to render and very easy to use 
So uh, you can of course like enhance the thickness of the lines, you know, and then you can get it even more stylized. So really you can play around with this stuff and uh, have fun with it, you know, experiment with it and see uh, what kind of looks you can get uh, with this uh, with these settings. So hopefully this tutorial helped you guys. Let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get notified when I publish a new video. Feel free to check our website 3dmodelsworld.com for more tutorials and cool 3D assets. Until next time, take care.